So well, let's get started. So inside the main.dart file, we have main app and my app as well as home page. Now inside home page, actually, we do have few images over here. These are the images that would be using for animation and then build method, which only has a scaffold widget and that's all. Now, right after this, actually, we are going to create a controller. So I'm going to come inside this lib folder. Well, none of these files are related to this topic or uh, or this tutorial, so you can ignore that. So over here, I'll create a new directory and I'm gonna call it controller, all right? And inside this, I'm going to create a controller name move controller, move move controller dot dart. All right, because we are going to use getx, make sure that your getx is installed. Go ahead and install the latest version of getx. And over here, we are going to create a controller and controller, controller name should be move controller. Now this is the controller would be responsible for moving our images and respond to on event, uh, on tap event or on pressed event if you click on a button. So over here, I'm going to extend getx controller, extend getx controller, this one. All right, cool. Now over here, actually, we want to have two variables because those two variables would help us to move things on the screen and we'll keep track of them. So one of the, one of the variables we're gonna declare is called move itself and we're going to move 10 units each time and as well as we do double and here are start pause okay all right now start pause equals zero so starting position all right and double should be here actually with the start pause right okay now over here we are also going to introduce uh, on init method so here we do on init on init now with on init method, these variables would be initialized, All right? So you need to have semicolon, otherwise you'll get error. All right. Now when our controller gets actually initialized, we want to initialize this variable as well. Now move itself has a default value and start has value zero, but this is the value that we don't want to want. We don't want to use. We want to use a different value and that value should be available in the screen when our app starts. So the start position is actually 500. If you just put it zero, uh, well, it's gonna put it down. But when my app is ready, when I see stuff on the UI, I want position to be somewhere here. So that's why I say start position. All right, so hopefully it makes sense. Okay, right. And after this, actually, we're gonna set up a couple of getter and setter and uh, we'd be good to go. Now, one of the thing that we want to do with uh, double get start pause this one so there would be this would be a getter of start position so so that we can access from our ui all right so let's go ahead and do it so here it says start pause start pause so whatever the value is available for this variable we'll get them and as well as we can also set up a getter for move itself so let's go ahead and do that and move all right okay so these are the few variables we have. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually create a full, uh, create another file. Let's go ahead and come over here. So now inside this lib folder, I'm going to create another directory and I'm gonna call it pages, all right? Okay, now inside this, I'm going to have my file and I'm gonna call it homepage.dart, all right? Now home page we do have over here already in our main.dart. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this from here and uh, just go ahead and cut it and I'm going to put it here. All right, and let's import the related libraries and we should be good to go. All right, we also need to import uh, material widget or library for this actually not widget itself. All right, now over here, it does have an issue. So let's go ahead and import all the path that we were supposed to have all right okay with this we are good to go now every logic would be about ui would be over here now what is the first thing you want to do over here first we want to show a body all right so let's go ahead and do that now inside body we are going to use stack widget 
All right, why we are going to use stack widget? The reason is because things are going to overlap onto each other. So this is the reason that we are going to use stack widget. All right, I'm gonna put it inside control uh, containers so that we get a better control. So now we'll have stack widget because our our animation birds would be moving around the screen and there should be a button at the bottom as well and as you want to animate the position actually you need to use uh, left and right position and you can get them from stack widget positioned widget now if it doesn't make sense it'll make sense very soon to you don't worry now stake we know the stack widget takes children so over here we are going to have children and one of the first thing we want to do over here is another container and inside the container will have child and then here we'll have elevated button now where why we have container because we can would be able to apply margin to it which we want and here we do okay let me let me do it a little later so that we understand that what i'm talking now over here let's go ahead and import on pressed event all right and after that actually we also need a child and here okay we'd say fly all right so this is the thing that we want and hopefully it should be available and we do see that it's available at the top now the reason is because uh, we need to also wrap it around the position widget so I'm gonna cut it over here position widget and the child should be the one that we had just now all right, so with this, we can exactly specify where we want. Now with the position widget, we're gonna use over here, bottom zero, and let's go ahead and save it. All right, so it came down. Now we wanna center it, and how do you wanna center it? You could say left zero and right zero. So with this, you'd be able to center it, cool. Now even though you centered it, but now it occupied the whole space, so over here, we can actually, um, apply margin so now it would make more sense and we do add insets dot symmetric and then over here we do symmetric now we want to do horizontal and vertical at the same time so horizontal well 50 and vertical most probably say 10 it doesn't really matter all right now with this it looks much better but if you want even you can apply more with our vertical space to it so that it becomes smaller so let's go ahead and do 100 in both space all right right so it's cool now over here we want to be able to click on this and uh, trigger something on the ui all right so that's what we want to do now how to do that okay so this is where this uh, move controller comes in and uh, at the same time, we'd be able to see how it helps us to locate the position. Now, one of the very first thing we have to do at the top in our home controller over here. Uh, so let's come over here and say this home controller, and then we need to actually inject it. Inject our controller here, we do get.put, and then over here, we'll inject our controller. So what's our controller? Our controller is move controller let's go ahead and do that all right and uh, we do see that we have an issue constant all right so well it wants something more like a variable type over here so there are a few ways to do that so one of the ways that we could do is uh, like over here for now i can put it over here all right and uh, Now at the top, we need to import get package. So let's go ahead and do that. Import package get this one. Otherwise, we'll still have an error. All right. Now there must be a better way to do that, but that might include complicacy of this tutorial, which I'm not going to do that. All right. Now the purpose of this is that it would be available throughout our app. Now, of course, if you want, you can also move it to somewhere here, actually, and it would still work the same. But in this case, you just have to move it over here at the top, and which it, which is something that I would like. Now, I want to wrap this uh, container, uh, actually the stack widget, using get builder. 
the purpose is that if we can access this using get builder actually we would be able to access instance of the controller itself and so that you can access the variables and other things so now over here we do get builder and then we will mention the type of the controller which is move controller and then here we'll have builder and inside this we just create a controller instance which we call controller itself and then over here we return whatever we had early right so this controller instance is more like the state variable of your block or river pod app because if you have river pod app or block up you might have an object that is called state now over here we call it controller okay right now we want to specify the position of this thing position of uh, our bird and let's go ahead and do that we already have positioned widget and then over here we can have child well we already have child so we could do image dot assets now right over here you can pick one of this image name over here like this one and it should work so let's go ahead and do that and let's put it here all right and let's put a bracket all right and uh, we do see that not subtype of move controller so let's go ahead and restart everything all right we see it's available there now it also causing problem uh, well first go ahead and define width and height for it so we do with 50 and height 50 all right let's save it okay this one thing so it's at the top right now but we want to define position of it and how do you do that well but remember we already have this controller instance so we can assign a position to it using the controller instance here so we could say controller dot start pause all right so this is the start position we could do well actually we don't want to start position with this we actually want to start position for the bottom property let's go ahead and do that bottom and controller dot start pause now with this this is gonna come down a lot all right so we're here now we also want to make a little bit of change the way it's it's gonna uh, stay in the left side so over here we could do controller dot move all right okay cool now you see it moved up so it means that we are already getting data from our controller now of course if we click on this we want to move this and how do you do that all right so let's come over here inside this on un unpressed event so over here uh, as we click on this first thing we want to do we want to create a variable where you can say well because we are gonna do height so I'm gonna call it H and then here we're going to do controller dot start pause whatever the start pause was there we're going to get it and then over here we could do h equal h plus move or controller dot move controller dot move all right like this okay so you'll see that every time we click on this what's going to do it's going to get the start pause and then it's going to add a certain amount to it and save it here but of course this value would not update ui you need to update the ui you need to assign to this one so how do you assign now for assigning actually over here we can create a method and the method would be void uh, set pause we'll say it and then we're going to pass a value to it double value whatever the value is coming from there we're going to just move it uh, assign to it so that this one gets updated okay so over here we're gonna do start pause equal value so this is a setter and after that you need to call the update method of getx with this you'd be able to let the UI know that you should update the UI and this is more like uh, notify listeners like if you use a provider okay uh, it has notify listeners or set state like that so we just created a setter so we need to pass the value and it will update the set position set start pulse 
and with this we'd be able to update the ui so this is the place where you call it so here you do controller dot star set start and whatever the value you had uh, h just go ahead and apply to it and that's it now with this as you click it's going to actually update the start pulse next time all right okay now let's go ahead and click on this you see now it's moving up it's cool so this animation is already working all right so we also want it to be able to go to the right side actually rather than just keep going up like this because this is very strange now how to do that now as we go ahead and work on this one of the things that we could do we could also assign uh, value to this 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 move one that uh, we can increase this move value now we know that move value so far started with 10 so each time we uh, click it we can add another 10 to it all right so now we already have this getter for this so one of the things that we could do over here like you go to assign a value now over here we can say value start and we can assign another value we would say value move so each time we're going to come over here we're going to update two values okay all right and over here we'll have move and we're going to call it value move all right now of course on the ui we might have an error over here because it wants you to give it two values all right say for example zero but of course if you go ahead and click on this it's still gonna work mm. no it's not gonna work because it's move it became zero so it's not moving at all all right so of course this is the place that you want to change as well so over here you could do like this var m and then here you do like uh, controller dot move all right and over here you do m equal m plus uh, 10 all right so whatever the value was there you get that value and add 10 with that and then actually uh you're gonna pass to it now let's save it right now you click on this you see it's gonna it's more like it's flying now let's go ahead and restart it one more time and it would make more sense let's do that you see now it's like it's flying beautiful so this is what actually we want to do all right now this is done and uh, we also want to do a flipping animation like but it's flipping as you click on this As you click on this, it, it would look like that it's moving uh, and changing its uh, wings and how to do that. Now, this is where this three images come in. Now, one thing we have to do, we need to change this image index. Well, first we want to create a variable and we'll call it int index equals zero. Now, we want to get index from the list that we have defined at the top so over here we're gonna do images index so whatever the index is there get that one but that index needs to be changed and how do you change that well over here we do see that elevated button so we can actually do it over here so the first thing when you click on uh, image or press button you want to change the image itself and how do you do that well all we need to do change the image index first we'll check if index is greater than or equal to all right so over here we are going to well we can just go ahead with greater than two if it's greater than two, then we're gonna I increase index plus plus, whatever the value is there, get that and increase one with that. Oh, sorry, it's the wrong condition. S make it zero. If it is more than two, make it zero. Otherwise, index plus plus, all right? 
Okay. Now let's go ahead and save it. Now let's restart everything and we'll see that it's gonna flip. All right, so we do have an issue that, okay, it says exclusive range. Now I think we have to set it from zero. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay. Yes, right now it's working. And one of the things I think, uh, which is odd, I don't want to do it like this. So let me let me move this to our controller, this logic. So this does work, but it creates a problem. Now over here, whatever the value is there, remove that. You just pass one value and add add ten to it. All right, and uh, remove that. And here you do move. All right, let's go ahead and try again. Okay, let's click on this. Now it's much better. Okay, right. So image flipping has been working as well, but now we do see that when it goes up, it's, it keeps going up. Uh, we also wanna change that one there as well. So we want to check if get.height, because getx gives you height. If the get.height or if our start pause, which is this one, controller dot start pause greater than get dot height, all right, then we gotta do something. We're gonna set a new position actually. So let's copy this and come over here. You're gonna set a new position to say uh, 100. So it would come down pretty much here, then it would keep flying like that. Or you could set it to 400, it would be here. Now, because there is at the top, there's a little bit of space, I wanna take that space out, say 70. There is a better way to do that, but that's not the purpose of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and check that. So our image is here, and then we could do animation. It's flying, and it's flying, it's flying. So it comes down and flies like that okay so yeah so whenever actually uh, it hits up there it's gonna come down now the animation itself is not perfect yet but it gives you idea that how you could do animation with getx and how easy it is to do animation with getx but of course now you see as it falls down uh, the speed increases too much. So that's because this move over here. So you could set move to like uh, earlier position. Now for that one, actually, you might need to pass or set or create a new one. So we're going to create a new one over here. And set move. All right. And whatever was there take it and set it to 10 so which becomes our earlier position all right so when it hits the bottom line so here we could say controller dot set move set move uh, just call set move and it will do the job automatically and we also don't need to pass any value to it actually and that's it all right now let's go ahead and work on this okay cool perfect it comes down okay the animation is perfect right now it counts down but you could do a lot more thing uh, also if you want you can actually move all these things in controller as well then you need to work a little bit work on this but I do suggest go ahead and work move this pretty much all these things in controller anyway so for this the code itself is given you can also check out from the link below thank you